sofa6.co.uk sponsors of the haze hour Live. and it's thursday night it is apparently thursday the 18th of april april where, where is the time I have got no clue where the time's going. I've just booked my holidays. Have you? Mm -hmm. I'm ready to go on mine. Ah, me too. But it's April, in the middle of winter, here in the UK. And, you know, it is what it is, isn't it? Yes. You'll notice tonight, we have the triumvirate, as ever was. We have Daz. We have me. But we've had Keith away. And we've had an overhaul, an MOT. Yeah. Race spray. Service. It was a good one as well. Right. Was, right. was I? Dating your voice? You definitely got good value for money. I, I, <laughs> I want to know how the hair's come back. It's implants. Is that what it is? That's what it is, I. My God, it must have taken so a long time. It's the sprinkle on stuff. All oh, right. 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 But they've changed your name as well. Yes. Some, to to uh, Graham. This is Graham. Friend of yours does, isn't he? Absolutely, yeah. And how long have you been using E6, Graham? For about three weeks now. Three weeks. Ladies and gentlemen, we've got a newbie in the house. Here on, you don't know how to do this bit, do you? No. No. Here on, the one and only show called, are you ready, Daz? On three, four. The Here's Hour. hour. Here we are, absolutely live. Tonight we're going to be covering all kinds of things. And yes, for those people that have been having challenges with the Ithaca, I've got some pre-recorded footage on, on that, heavily edited to take out the swear words. Um, but it is working, it is sitting on my EVIC currently, and it is working like a little champ. But there are one or two gotchas that you need to be aware of, we'll be talking about that. I've got hives. Have you got hives? What, what I did wonder what that was about. <laughs> oh well, if I if I press close you be calm, and go there, I've got hives. It's got nothing to do with the mouse. Right. It's that hives. That's what that is. I've got hives. Right. That's come from the place I can't pronounce. In Greece. At oh well, girl, we're off again. At Mizu. At Mizu. At my yeah. zoo. At yeah. Mizu, at my zoo, yeah. whichever one. And just just so everybody knows, today being Thursday, if you're up at seven o'clock in the morning, apparently they've got some rollers and dingoes up for sale tomorrow morning. Seven o'clock UK time, rollers and dingoes. Eight o'clock uh, if you're in Europe, seven o'clock, rollers and dingoes available. Don't get up too early because I want a roller. It's pointless me even doing it because I never hear me a longer. Do you not? No. Well, it never goes off and I want to do anyway. You never well, get up, man. Darren lies in bed all day. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. You know this for certain? Oh, aye. I've, I've thought it often, like. <laughs> what else were we going to look at? I've got the Vision Crystal Kit. I've got the roller extension for the Dingo. I've got all kinds of stuff to do with the Dingo. Uh, quick update on the AGI that we looked at last week. Um, there's all kinds of stuff going It's going to be one of those shows. There'll be all kinds of things going on. It's going to be good. It's going to be good. But what you've been up to since last week, does Out on, or out? Because ah, I'm hiccuping. Me new TV came. Your new TV came. And have you been watching on Vita Trails TV on, on the telly? On the telly. And have you videoed it? Yes, and I forgot all about sending it to you. <laughs> <laughs> but I will have it for next week, I promise everyone. Right. You I'm will, sorry. You, you will I'll have it for next week. You send it to me tonight, right? Yes. For, when I get home. For absolute certain. Yes, for absolute what certain. What we like to hear. I'll, I'll, love, I'll love when we've got I'll correspondence that <laughs> stick the contract and do what yeah. they should do. Shall we talk about the uh, the Ithaca? Yes. Do you know what an Ithaca is? I haven't got a clue. Do well, you, it's, no. it's the atomizer on the top of this. And it's, it's built uh, by Golden Greek Mods in, uh, in Greece. 
That's why they call Gordon Greek. Mm -hmm. Guy called Emil. Emil. Uh, he's a good lad, and very very inventive, and he's got a he's got a sharp mind, and he he came up with this. Now if, I don't know whether you saw last week's show, but we we decided did, yes. we'd try and coil it live. So you saw what that ended up at. Yes. Shorted out left, right, and centre, and there's a reason for that. Um, so what I did was today I sat down and I decided that I would shoot, putting it right and show where the problem was and, and what you need to do to get it right. There's only one challenge. What's that? The video is there. Mm. But you know what it's like when you put your glasses down and you don't know where they are? Yeah. You think, oh, I'll manage. <laughs> <clears throat> I found my glasses after I'd shot the first bit. <laughs> That's all I'm going to say. I found my glasses after I'd shot the first bit. So here is how I managed to get it and where the problem is and... and, and what you need to do to get it right. Um, sit back, relax, charge your vaping devices with something enjoyable and enjoy. So this is the, the issue that we have had with the shorts. Now let me try to explain to you what occurs here. In this part of the Ithaca, the centre post screws in to hold the ceramic in place. And you can see that the ceramic has a nut in the centre there. And that should, in theory, if it goes in correctly, hold everything in place. But as you will be able to see, as I unscrew this, there's no sleeving around this central piece of threading. And you'll also see that there is no sleeve on the inside of that metallic piece that actually forms the negative connection. And so you've got to be very careful when this goes in and into the ceramic that it doesn't actually contact and the only bit of, of device that separates is this washer and this washer here. These are the two that prevent anything untoward from occurring. So as you will be able to work out, if I can get this out without breaking it, the ceramic has no lip. All right, so this comes through here and screws onto this piece here. So let's reassemble it and try and make it not do what it shouldn't do. So a centre nut goes in, snugs down. And everything connects up. Okay, so that's it connected. The question then is, is it actually shorting or not? So time for the fluke. And let's try and do this. We have a connection to the centre. And you can hear that has shorted. And so it takes some shifting about to get this screwed in in such a way that it's not going to short. Alrighty. And again. Now we have a complete open circuit. And it's by juggling this bit here that we get this sorted out. So, 
Never built a car. Okay, first thing I need to do is to work out how much camphor I'm going to need to use together with my silver no resistance wire. And all I'm going to do, I'll move this out of the way for the time being, all I'm going to do is twist the resistance and no resistance together. sure I've got this properly tapped down and a half and start that in between the two pieces of wick and then here we go wrapping one two three four five six eight turns and now we can place the whole lot like so and this needs to be well and truly sunk into there and take them down and caught in the right place again everything caught nicely wicks where they need to be and pushed well down tighten well in with nothing left sticking out anywhere to short and I can see there is a piece of straight away there good okay all right before I go any further I'm going to check that and see what resistance we have. And that is 3.2 ohms, which is exactly what it should be. This is going to go on to a fairly high power device. We'll send the pole on. And then screw it down into the base. And I came to the conclusion everybody would be pretty much asleep by now. Um, once you've got that centre post sorted and solid and not shorting, you've just got to be very, very careful that you don't move it or frig with it in any way, shape or form. And as you'll have seen, Emmy has already put a video out showing you how you can use a pair of pliers to move the centre post around mm -hmm. uh, to, to obviate any shorts. 
it is a challenge, it's an issue, but you can't actually sleeve that bit between the threads and, and the bigger gubbins, because mm. that's where the air goes up. Ah, oh, right, and you wouldn't get any airflow. You wouldn't then. get any airflow. Mm. That's where the air flows through. Um, so it's kind of got to be open. Yes. It could just do, I think, with being a lot wider. Yeah. And perhaps have a ceramic neck on it mm -hmm. to go in. But once it's working, it's really rather pleasant. I shall have a drag. And how long does it last for, Dave, before you've got to redo it again? How many tanks of fluid are you going to get out of it? Um, I'll get a couple of weeks out of a coil uh, of 0.25 can fall. Right. Um, I'll get a couple of weeks out of it. And I'm going to give that a blast, see what you think. Um, it's only 36 milligram RYC. So I'm going to cough me. No, you'll be fine. Basically. You'll be absolutely fine. Chat didn't make me do it. Is that right? It is, isn't it? It does. You want to have a suck? Go on, let's have a try of it. <laughs> Get stuck into that there, so. That's really weirdy when you pick. Oh, like God, well, yeah, it's all, all stainless steel. Aside from the bits that aren't. So where would I buy something like that if I wanted to purchase one of them? Oh, Dave, that packs a kick, that. It does a bit, doesn't it? Yeah. That's uh, It's double wicked with the coil wrapped over the double wicks. I was going to ask about that when I noticed on the video, because last week, when you were trying to wick it, you had two separate wicks, didn't you? Mm. And you you coiled one of the wicks and you had the other one to block the channel to stop the juice from going through. Yes, well, I, I came to the conclusion when I opened this up to, to do that, uh -huh. the other, the wick that had no coil on it, Yeah. it just wasn't contributing anything at all. It was oh, just right. sitting there. Mm -hmm. Even though I'd tried to make them touch and I thought, yes. right, I'm just going to wind the coil around the two. Yeah. And it seems to be doing very nicely, thank you. Uh, that's running at, what was it running at? 8 watts, 2.5 ohms, 8 watts, mm -hmm. four and a half volts ish, there or thereabouts, and it's working quite well. Um, you would need to Google uh, GGE SIGs, and there there are no longer any dealers in the UK. They used to be, but there's not anymore. Right. Um, I don't think there's any in France. In fact, most of them have gone. Clouds of Vapor in the States is now a worldwide dealer for GG, and I'm sure a chat will remind me who it is. In Greece, I've forgotten. I can never remember it. Top my, my brain's not working. It's not direct MEO, no. There is a, a Greek dealer uh, that handles all of the GG stuff over there. Because I must admit that... Smoke guru. That's the one, thank <laughs> you. Smoke guru. One of the things I like about this, not only is it getting us off the cigarette, mm -hmm. is that I like the fiddling on with the different things. Uh, I'm quite mechanically minded, and I love putting the new wicks in. I love cleaning them out, etc., etc. Oh, if you like fiddling, you'll love this. I, I mean, it's, video, it's, it's, the, the, it's got juice flow control, it's got air flow control. The, there's, really, there's nothing about it that you can't customise. Uh, even, he's even got a, um, uh, a centre tube mm. that will take your choice of drip tip. Right. A uh, standard 510 style drip yeah. tip. So you, you, can, you can do pretty much whatever you want with it. It'll fit onto a GG or it'll fit onto a 510. Um, there's not much you can't do with it. I have to say... Once you've got it running, it's difficult to put out. That tastes really nice. It does. And it's producing like a steam train. Mm. So, uh, you know, I think if you can handle the faff, if you can handle the fiddle, if you've got the patience to get that centre mm. post just right, and you're mechanically minded, then why not, you know? Yeah. What does it look like on a GG? Um, it looks exactly like an Odysseus on a GG. Does it? Well, it pretty much is. Yeah. It, it, the outside is pretty much Odysseus. Mm -hmm. And when you when you take it, ah, that's the other point. The one thing I forgot to mention, and I, and I must. The centre post being as it is, um, adjustable. As I've taken this off the Evic now, I will need to wind the centre post out again before I put it back on, because once it makes contact, it winds back in. Right. And when you've taken it off and go to wind it back on. Do it on camera, David, instead of being a numpy. Um, as you go to wind it back on, you'll feel it bite, and then the centre post winds itself in. Right. So if you forget to wind it out a little bit before you put it back on, it'll just lose contact. Yeah. And it won't make contact the second time. Mm -hmm. um, but that said, um, filling it's a piece of cake anyway, because mm -hmm. you've got two methods of filling it, the little top and the big top. Um, and it, and it, it is nice in use. Yeah. It's just... 
the devil's own fart to yeah. get it get it working. Mm -hmm. um, that said, for a lot of people, so is the Odysseus and mm -hmm. so is the Penelope. It, 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 I, I like it. I actually like it, but I don't mind doing the fart. The fact that it embarrassed me last week, I'll put up with that and live with that. Um, well, I wouldn't have said that because at the end of the day, it was it was a good exercise, and you know that's how that's how we learn at the end of the day. Indeed, it? it is, oh, and that brings us up slap bang to the adverts. It does. Where, and if you watch the adverts, you'll see some brilliant people to buy things from. I'll play them in, shall I? You might as well. Be back in two minutes. <laughs> Back in the studio here on the Here's Hour on Thursday the 18th of April, uh, the, the, uh, the year of our Lord 2013 in the deep depths of winter. It's not even getting close to summer, is it? No. It's just not. No. Which, and it's, that's, that's the very reason why Graham has a jacket on that has loads and loads of pockets in. It's not because he's going to try and do a Keith. Uh, well, you never know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, eh? You never do know. You never do know. So, right, let's, let's talk about you. You, Hanson Swain. Thanks. I uh, just, I'm sorry, but uh, you know, I, honestly, you could at least have got a belly on before you came. Went out for a jog beforehand. Oh, lad, I don't know. And that was a total lie. I've never ran in my life. I, I don't know the meaning of the word. <laughs> I can barely spell it. Um, so, how did you get into ESIGs three weeks ago? Uh, because I couldn't breathe, basically. I'm 30 year old. Um, I've got a little lad who's three year old and I was trying to start his motorbike for him uh -huh. and I was ill after trying to get it started. Kickstart I take it? No it was pull start. Oh my god. And it was then when I realised I've got to basically do something else and I knew Darren was on the e-cigs and stuff like that so I'd get one of them prior and I says, look, Darren, I want a better one. And he'd give us a better one, and then it just went from there, and I oh, saw... Whoa, 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 hang on, just a minute. I'm seeing Keith-like traits coming out yeah. here. Oh, well, definitely. You've yes. been giving them these uh, Well, put it this way, when Graham comes to the house in the future, my vaping supply is well and truly <laughs> hidden You now. didn't tell me he'd been vaping for free. <laughs> well, no, he doesn't now. Oh, I mean, they, they get they bricks, sand, cement, everything. Oh, yeah, that, that's, oh, that's oh. true. So oh, well, that's, 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 that's true. true. <laughs> fair trade, fair trade, it's no rubbery. It I, was, <laughs> I was just worried we had a younger, faster no, version of Keith. No, it's not as bad as that. I was going to say, I'm just moving stuff out of the way, just in case <laughs> No, no, no it's there. all swaps. So, what did you start with then? Uh, this, basically. <laughs> That's a good entry point. Uh, which is the Z Max, and I think it's absolutely brilliant. Right. And my next purchase is the Evic. And I have got a question because I've noticed the difference between yours and Darren's. Yours has better. got a different head on. So. I'll, I'll take the. Uh, I'll take the Ithaca off and screw it into the hive because I can't because that's what it's there for and there it is that's the EVIC as it stands now that's got uh, 
a new set of clothes on it. And did you have to put that on, Dave? Uh, yeah, when I bought it, I bought it from a German site, uh, highendsmoke.de, mm -hmm. and they had the, um, the stainless steel clothing available for at the time, so I got it at the same time as I bought it. Right. Because I, I, I just like stainless steel. And, and as a, it gives it a bit more weight. And it's a bit, yeah, it's got a bit more heft to it, you know. I find the, um, and believe it or not, Joy Tech say that, that the clothes that yours has got on mm. is steel. Well, it feels like I'm right, right. Um, It's very th thin steel. This, you could, you could clag a trout with it and it would kill it, you know. And yeah. I, I, kind of, I kind of like that about it. It's, it's nice and hefty, so yes, it's, yeah. it's kind of different. So you've started with basically with the Z-Max. What have you got on top of it? It's a VV Nova, I think. Oh, the Mini Nova? Yes. The Mini Nova. And yeah. how are you finding that? Absolutely brilliant, to tell you the truth. What juice are you using? In that one is cheesecake. <laughs> Right. I'm not guilty. Uh, you are guilty. Everybody knows you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Oh, that seems like so many moons ago now. <laughs> but yes, I, I got it off Darren. <laughs> yes, yes, I can, I can well imagine that you got it off. Uh, that, Darren, honestly, that's just wrong. <laughs> Seriously. Cheesecake. He likes it. He likes it. I liked it. <laughs> uh huh. <laughs> But you also like vanilla custard. Yes, I do. You're not uh -huh. supposed to say custard. And coconut ice. Oh, my God. <laughs> you are being led astray by this man. Right. I, I honestly feel... You haven't given him uh, cherry cola yet or anything like that. No, I haven't. Not yet. Well, I'm pleased to hear it as well. But if it's free, I'll have it. <laughs> I told you. It's key. <laughs> oh, no. They're joining in in chat now. Strawberry shortcake. Who sells, what? Who sells coconut ice, Roth thinks? Um, DV, Deckard and Vapors. Yes, mm -hmm. DV. Hang on, there's another one there. Dave said the standard stuff is steel too, but I do have a proper stainless kit on my shopping list. Yes, Moonlit, very wise. I still think the, the, uh, the standard clothes on an Avic, there's no way that it just doesn't feel like steel to me. I don't know. I mean, it's light, it's comfortable. I suppose because I haven't had another house and on it, I wouldn't. I mean, I've got a screwdriver, I'll just scratch down to see if it's no. aluminium or not. Oh, we could do that. No, could you're not <laughs> scratching me either. <laughs> this is what I like. No this is way. what I like. A man that has a hobby with big, hefty tools getting on to dance. You <laughs> see, don't give him ideas because then he'll come up the right and then I'll have to hide the Avic next. Well, oh, is that a new game you play, is it? Hide the Avic. Hide, hide the Avic. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, don't don't ever go to Dazzers. So you've got an Evic on the shopping mix. Yes. On the shop. What's what what's next? What's what are you going to put with it? What as for tank? Oh yeah, whatever. Whatever you give me free, no. <laughs> <laughs> There's a queue. There's, There's a queue. queue. <laughs> Is that? Yes. No, I've actually ordered the three mil Evic. Uh, three mil VV Nova as well, mm -hmm. and a few other different ones just to try them basically. Which other ones? Uh, Darren. Oh God. Um, There's another VV Nova, but it's a V. Yeah, something. that's the v new. Is it the V9? The V9, the VV Nova V9. Mm -hmm. It's got the, like a, that one. a narrow Which metal tip on the yeah, top. Yeah, we've never actually looked at that one. Not yet, no. 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 Not yes. Yet. Okay. Well, Daz, if you just reach over behind you, behind that remote control, you'll see a plastic bag with a thingy in it. That's an MT3. That's an MT3. Have you had an MT3 yet? I haven't, no. You have now. Thank you very much. Is that free? Yes. Great. See, it was worth <laughs> fetching the van. You know what I mean? It's just boxes after you to the <laughs> Thanks, dear. <laughs> <laughs> now, the MT3 is the big brother to the EVOD. Oh, and by the way, if you're watching, Keith dropped in earlier on to say he wouldn't be around, to just confirm he wouldn't be around. And he had his Avod with him and he did say, could I pass on, that he's thoroughly, thoroughly enjoying it. He finds it very, very elegant, very smooth and very nice. And he's going to be telling you more about it next week. But the MT3 is much like the Avod. It's a bottom coil cartomizer. Right. So you put it upside down, mouthpiece down. All right. Unscrew. That there is the atomizer. And it's, it's the same in there. Mm -hmm. Fill it so that it doesn't drop down the central, central tube. Yeah, so just to the side. Yeah, just to the side. And uh, and you can re-wick them. You right. can, if you want, but you can also buy the coils. Yeah. And he's driving around in an Audi so he can buy the coils. Oh, yeah. Oh, absolutely. No, I've got the Audi so I can't afford to buy the coils. All right. 
I, I try and use the same excuse with the Range Rover. Oh, right. And I will say how happy I was that you parked the Audi between the Range Rover and Daz's car. Right. Well, I didn't want Daz's car to show the Range Rover well, see, so it was like a bit of a block. Yeah, absolutely. absolutely. See what I've got to put up with? <laughs> what? My poor car. It's, it's a good car. It is? What's this? Are you giving me something? Yeah. Oh, no, I'm, but I'm going to ask you to do something. What? If you look over there, you'll see a little plastic bag. Yes. It's got some 306s yes. and uh, convert, convert or Fert Rondubrilators in. So if you stick one of those on your EV, you can try that juice out. I will do that momentarily. And, and then momentarily. Momentarily. Just for a very short length of time. Yes. Because that's what momentarily means. Have you got any tissues in here? I beg your pardon? <laughs> any <laughs> tissues? You're not that excited, are you? No, not yet. <laughs> I did have a cloth somewhere. There it is. You know me, I don't do paper. I like cloth. I reckon if you're going to spill juice, you might as well spill a lot of it. Uh, paper never works quite as well. Yes. What's chat saying? They're asking what car Watermelon. Mm. No, Daz doesn't drive a Reliant Robin three-wheeler, Doug Phillips. I'm not that bad. He's just not that bad. He's not that posh. <laughs> <laughs> that Daz drives a uh, convertible, doesn't he? I do, yeah. Mm. No, like it's, a, it's not man. Stop lying, it's an Audi 8. An Audi A8? Yeah. Is it? Yeah. Really? Top of the range, aye. Is it? How do you fill one of these up then? Do you not know how to use it? Would you like do me to you, show you? Do you use it with one of these I old, pass it old over. things? Pass, pass it over. We'll go closely up you can, because this will be news to a lot of people. I'll need that as well. Yeah, you will. No, I'll need your EVIC. Oh, the EVIC, yes. right. You know what's giving it a scratch when you've got it. Just no. Stay. Yeah, I'll do that. You really I'll don't do want to be scratched. Hang on a minute. As luck would have it, I've got a screwdriver here. I'll just... Uh, <laughs> So just, just, just a little bit. Down the big, the full length of the, go down the full length of the you big. You always put a sticker on it or something to hide it afterwards. Why, his thumb will be on it, won't it? It would be, I. Well, you'd, you'd not know it. I'll just, I'll, I'll have a go. At but you buy different bodies anyway, can't you? So. Well, yeah, I mean, get a steel one, it'll be fine. Right, it's a 306. Yes. Now, a 306 screws into a 510 connector. Right. All right. You're looking at the big picture, aren't you? Yes. Because your eyes aren't that good for close up. Yes. Exactly right. And then you'll see that it looks like that. Oh, see? yes. Right, now, these little white things I've got here mm -hmm. are Adapto Ferk Rondubrilators. I know they're called that because Kat told me they were. And these Adapto Ferk Rondubrilators go over the top of your 306, right. like so. And then, he said, reaching across onto the hive for a drip tip, your standard 510 drip tip will fit into... Ah. Mm -hmm. yeah, and and they, they're not like a tank form, they're still you just drip into It's them. a dripping atomizer, yes. Yeah. It's a drip, and it's, this one apparently is a 1.8 ohm dripping atomizer. Okay. So give it a, give it a squirt. And oh, I it's would, got a needle head on it. It has a well. needle head on it, specifically built for drippage. And you want to give it seven or eight drops, it'll take a good soak. And you can, you'll find, if it gurgles when you first you start, you've got it about right. There you go. And that is, um, it's Moondrop. Um, Moondrop RY42. RY42. It's the answer to life, the universe and everything. It's the Moondrop take on RY4. And I want to know what you make of it. That seems to be working. You want a bit more on? No. No? Good taste nut is this. Yeah, it's packed with flavour. Oh, it is definitely that. And it's definitely, it's unmistakably a tobacco flavour. I must admit that's something I don't want though. I don't want tobacco flavours because I've give up smoking. Mm. I mean, it's interesting because I don't regularly vape tobacco flavours and then a couple of weeks ago we were trying Hanks and RY5 mm -hmm. and that was the closest thing I'd ever tasted to in, in a liquid that resembled a cigarette. And did you like it? Did it I was, it, yeah, I mean I couldn't say I didn't because after smoking 15 years, you know, I couldn't say I didn't but it even had like the ashy taste and everything with it as well. Mm -hmm. It was like, I was more shocked than anything else, you know, because so. a lot of tobacco flavours that you get I always say it tastes like, imagine if you have a cigarette mm -hmm. unlit 
and you take a drag off it and you can taste nothing uh, but yes, the flavour yeah. of the tobacco. That to me is what the, a lot of the tobacco flavours are like, mm -hmm. which is why I just couldn't get away with it because it didn't resemble um, like a cigarette. Yeah. But then when I got into my flavours anyway, I just completely forgot. But that is a very, it's a very sharp flavoured tobacco. That's, that's kind of what I'm getting. It's really, really sharp, the taste. Sharp yeah. tobacco? Yes. Because it was dry. So what's the black bits for them, Dave? Are they just a different... Well, the, the black bit is the mouthpiece that it comes with, but then dripping onto an exposed bridge atomizer is... It's harder than ordinary dripping. Right. You could go dipping with it. Right. Uh, seriously, you'd, you'd fill a little, um, just a little bottle cap or something mm -hmm. with juice and dip it in and then put this back on. Yeah. But I, I think a, a drip tip, dedicated drip tip, just works better with it. And he tastes maple syrup. Yes. yes. Three or um, six? It's a three or six to drip tip adapter. The last lot I got was from Cloud9, I think. They had them in, um, but they're available. Daz normally has them, doesn't Daz it? has them as well, yes, it's safe as eat. They're available all over the place. They are uh, very, I'm very Definitely clever. getting maple syrup. Yes. Yeah. It's, it's, it's mapley. Um, I quite like it. It's sweet. Yeah. It's got a, it hits your throat nice. I, I oh, like yeah. that yeah. about it because there's a couple of different ones I've got. You don't even know you've got it in your mouth. Yeah. You've just blown out a load of smoke. And I want something to hit the back of my throat. Yeah. Uh, but no, that's quite nice. <laughs> it's it's like, like I've been saying, I mean, once you find your stable juice, and it's took me best part of a year to find mine now, and it's kind of like once you're there, it's like... Well, you've still got a load of bottles left, yeah. so I'm still trying, <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah but if you're trying all the Daz's stuff, it's all just a little bit... Um, what's the word I'm looking for? Sweet. Yes. I mean, it that's me sweet, but it's got yeah. some hammer behind yeah. it as well. See, I wouldn't have said it. I can taste maple syrup, but I wouldn't have called it sweet. Oh, I would. Would you? Yes. No, I'm not I'm not picking up any sweet tones. I'm, t I'm picking up maple syrup, but not sweet tones. It's not as sweet as RY6. Oh, God, I've dropped there. But then again, I don't think RY6 is sweet. Well, actually, you know what it is? I completely tell a lie, because to me, that was. I've just got a really... I was going to say, I've got a sweet like, taste, aftertaste in my mouth. Yeah. It's always good when that happens. Yeah. Got a lovely scent coming off it. I'll tell you what I'm going to do. If you want something that's going to give you a bat in the back of the throat. Oh, so you're going to make us cough on camera. Nope. <laughs> Eins, zwei, drei, vier, fünf, sechs, sieben. That's seven drops. Yes. Seven German drops. That yes. means they're bigger and better built than smaller ones. I'll just give that a quick burn. It's nice. I stick the tipping drippings on. Give it a drag. Mm -hmm. Give that a drag. <coughs> can have a look at the bottle. <laughs> oh, I can't read the label. You would see 45 on it. It's a 45. It's 45. If you look at the, the left hand side. Oh, I yes. Can you read what it says on there? Yes. That? David hasn't really hit me throat, like. Eh? Has it not? No. Hang on a minute. I'll turn it up a touch. No? No. 2.2 second drag, I'm not surprised. So how long are you supposed to drag it for? Oh, I would say a lot longer Six than that. Six or more. seven. What, turned up? Yeah. Yeah, I'll just take it up to 11 watts, that'll be. This is Darren getting his own back for his corner's <laughs> car, I want to scratch his evic. <laughs> Have the bottle up, just stick another drop or two in. Actually, I'll anoint it because it wants a lot of juice when you're running at 11 watts. There you are, try that. It's getting there, it's a man's man, <laughs> yeah, and yeah. When I was mixing up a load, and you know, when I got my mixing ratio quite wrong, 
Uh-huh. <laughs> well, <laughs> I give Graham one of the batches that I got quite wrong. Just a little bit wrong. <laughs> Just a little bit wrong. <laughs> yeah, wrong. It was practically like burnt his whole mouth tab. off. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, I think it's maybe it's not a good idea to let Daz loose with a mixing kit. Yeah. I'm pretty sure of that. I Actually, I'm a lot better now. I do I think the cups. power's up a bit too high because I'm now getting a burning taste. Right, that being the case, we'll knock it down. But for a lad who used to smoke now on nearly 40 tabs a day, it's, I've got like a cast iron throat, it, I think. It does go through the juice as well quite a lot, it has to be said. Um, but that's for, well, yeah, what, what sort of tabs were you smoking, though, but? I smoke rollies. Unfilled. Oh no, you use filters as no, well. I, no, I use filters. Yeah. Were they proper rollies or were they prison rollies? Uh, no, no they were proper rollies. What's the difference, though? Prison rollie? You can really get 23 thin. prison rollies out of one Marlborough. Oh no, 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 they were proper. Three strands of back in a page out of the Bible, really. <laughs> and a prison rollie. No, no, they were proper ones. Well, go. Jeff, it's po- pointless him doing a nose exhale because he's not even getting throat hit. Better? I'm going to say yes. Yeah. So you like that one then? That's 45 milligram. Not as nice as that. Well, we'll yeah. stick it with the MT3 because it works well in there. And, uh, and we'll go into the adverts. When we come back out the adverts, I'll show you what you could have won. Happy days. It'll be, it'll be one of those. And this is this is stuff that will be available tomorrow. And I'm, right. I'm a little bit you, I'm, and I'm going to get your comments on it because I remember what you said last week. We will be back in a minute and forty-seven seconds. Don't go anywhere. And we are back in the room. Right, you're hunting around with juices. Yeah. Right. There's a strawberry one, just to remind you of Daz. Right. So this nice, is from nice and sweet, eh, Daz? Nice and yes. sweet, just like Daz. Just like me. That's from Healthy Vip. Right. Mm-hmm. This one's from Album Mist, and it's a PGVG mix, Honey Nut Tobacco. Right. Which I've tried, it's quite palatable. They're not massive uh, strengths. And this one is all about the flavour. It's ocean pipe. Um, and I'm, I think it's an American one. I can't actually read what I'm looking at here. Um, lab tested, yes it is. And that, that, will, that will run quite nicely as well. It's very, very tobacco Right. Very pleasant. It's really interesting what you're saying because like, you really like them as well because like the oh, the oh, wow, you know, yes I like it and it's very mably and whatnot but I couldn't say that as a staple like yeah. you know I couldn't use it all the time because I'm my flavours have to be really intense they really do they have to be so intense like and out there you know like at the minute I'm vaping 
pineapple coconut rum. Right. Mm -hmm. Well, like I see, I've I've got a few different ones <laughs> in the machines, uh, <laughs> and I've got three machines on the go at the moment with different juices in, and it's it's basically just trial and error. Yeah, it is definitely trial and error. Pineapple. But once you find your staple, pineapple coconut rum, it's lovely. And pina colada, you mean? Yeah. But otherwise known as pineapple coconut rum, really <laughs> nice. You're a poser. I know. And I don't care. Oh. Oh, Lord, look, chat's going. Vaporman saying, DD, do you want me to send you a free sample of strawberry menthol for you to try, mate? Vaporman, I love you daily, but rearrange these words into a well known phrase or saying, knotted, get. <laughs> Thank you. No. Menthol, do you know the effect that that would have on this building? We've only had the kitchen finished it and blacked down. In the words of the bard. Shall we have something nice? Yes. I mentioned this at Mizzou place earlier on. We shall go to close you up, you can for this. And I'm, it's a mess. I'm, I'm all over the place. I'll have to move the table a bit. There we go. Right. Close you up, you can, and I shall remove. I shall remove the uh, AGI off of it and press it out. There. Right. That there, he said, cutting to it, that there is a dingo, only it's not. Right. I, uh, I got the dingo a couple of weeks ago and did it when I did the show by me, Todd. Mm -hmm. Well, last week there was another release of bits. Right. So what I did was, you'll see, that you know the dingo that you saw last time didn't have two lines around it? Yes. And there's a reason behind that. That's still impressive. I shall unscrew that. And I shall unscrew the bit that has the lines around it, because you couldn't see the joint. Mm. For inside there... Have you got a kick? I have a kick. Ah! Ah! I've just, I've just clicked on what you've done there. What? I see that. Aye. I got the little extension. The T02 that uh, makes it rather, rather pleasant. Uh -huh. And in... Look at that. In, in no, 350... How diddy is that? Did it's tinky winky. It is. It's tiny whiny. It reminds me of myself on a cold day, has to be said. There we go. That's that's the dingo in 18350 mode. Like with that. the kick in. Yeah. Now, for comparison, I'll take the EVOD off the EVOD battery and put the two side by side. And look at that. It's nearly virtually. Virtually the same size. Yeah. But while I was on the Atmazoo site, as you do, I thought it might be a good idea to not just do that, but also go into 18650 mode with mm -hmm. a kick. So take the 18350 out. And Bob will get will be sitting in chat now going, what the hell's he missing about with all this for? So we'll put the extension tube in and take it up to 18650 mode. And there you go, an 18650 kicked dingo. And again, you can barely see the joints. Yeah. Beautiful piece of kit. And Bob would be sitting there in chat and he'd be going, well, why the hell didn't you get a roller, Dom? <laughs> you should have got a roller and you could have done all of that. Well, like you saying, get a roller tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> Too much faff, DD, get yourself a roller. And I thought, you know, I could hear him saying it. In my mind, Bob, sitting there, what you doing that for, Don? Getting yourself all of them tubes and putting it like that. Why don't you get a roller? And I thought to myself, while you're there, why don't you get a roller? So I got the roller tube. It fits straight onto the dingo and straight onto the, uh, <laughs> the kick tube. <laughs> Who's laughing now, Bob? <laughs> Sorry, Bob. Put the 18650 <laughs> into it. Screw it out a bit, innit? You can do that. Screw it out a bit. Put a base on it. And look at that. You got an 18650 roller with a kick in it. How's that then, mate? How's that? You can't do better than that. It's, it's not still only a dingo, Bob. Bob's saying it's still only a dingo. It's, it's more dingo. versatile than a Swiss Army knife. That's what it is. It's, it's a proper roller. 
Um, but I've, I've asked whether there's going to be any more switch units and base units for the roller. And if they are, I should be out of bed at five minutes to the hour of seven o'clock in the morning. I should be onto the at my zoo site and I should be typing in and ordering said bits of kit. And that makes it rather nice. And yes, the AGI, which I has had. Oh, yes. Yes, oh yes, the AGI. I do rather like this. Uh, it has been serving me exceptionally well. It's a good tank, that. It's a very, very, very good Genesis tank, it has to be said. It cannot be denied. Um, it w I mean, just close you up you can. Look at that on there. How does that look? Yeah. I mean, I'm, you know, the, the squidgy bit in the middle. I prefer the, the dingo tubes. Yeah. Uh, if I'm to be honest, I do prefer the dingo tubes. But I do understand if you want it to look small and neat and nice and stuff like that, then you can drop it. I mean, because this will drop into... 18350, mm. well, I'll drop it into 18350 mode. Or are you putting 18500 in? It's completely configurable, don't you know? So, as for battery life, you're obviously putting a smaller battery in, so is that half the like the, the time you can use it? Or? Oh, with an 18350, it, it's going to be slightly less than half the time you would use on an 18650, yeah. yes. Yes, it doesn't have quite, the, it doesn't pack quite the punch. And as for the kick as well, does that just make it variable voltage? Or variable or wattage, yes. Wattage. Yes, it makes a bit like the EVIC. Um, but there you go, look at that. It, you wouldn't know the difference, would no. you? No. No. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. mm. There you go. Have a try of that. It's nice, nice. Isn't it though? Mm -hmm. It feels right. So is this free? No. <laughs> it's a shame I had to ask. <laughs> well, You're yes. doing a grand job standing in for Keith, I have to see. <laughs> there is a limit. The book. <laughs> The button's really nice on it as well, and my partner would like something like that because there's nothing more she hates than it's sitting in. When watching EastEnders, well, she watches EastEnders, and she can hear the button go click, click when I'm pressing the button on the, the Z Max, she hates it. She's not keen on you rubbing the button too loudly. Like no, 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 no. But that is typical it's woman. Real nice machine, that. It is, I mean, it, it's so beautifully built, and I mean, does last couple of weeks back. We're sitting looking at it mm. after the show, we sit and have a gob, don't we? Yeah, we do. And I chucked it across at them and I said, How many pieces is that? And how many did you see? Well, Two. you're an engineer, you find the joint. It's there, very difficult to see. The word well, it is yeah. really good. It's absolutely, I couldn't get over it when, <laughs> when I honestly did not realize there was a joint well, in it. If you didn't know there was a joint there, yeah, you if, you, if you want, I mean, it exactly. Because even when you got it, you, you didn't realise at first, did you? No, I, no, to be honest, I thought they'd made a mistake in the instructions when they said that there, there was a, a, a section between the um, the body and the and the switch unit. I do like and that. I was, I was really quite uh, quite, really like quite that impressed tank. to find. So that the kick unit on that and the extendable body to take your dingo into being a roller, I think is a great idea. Mm. And then this, I couldn't help myself. What you've been getting now, that looks like... That looks like a GG sign on there. No, no, it's not. It's, it's not. It, it's far from it. I shall cut to it and show you. It, this is the uh, the hive. It's called. They've been trailing it for a while, and it, it finally made its appearance last week. And you can see, oh, at Mizu by, at Mizu, at Mizu, yes. at my zoo by at my. I had such trouble seeing it, but basically what you've got is three five ten connectors and then three spots to put your your drip tips and they fit in kind of like that and it's you know it's neat it's a really good idea it's handy for me really handy for me because I've, I've i've had it on the dining table mm. in the newly refurbished kitchen um and it just sits there and i've just been swapping around the various different mm. genocide to see what I'm liking and what I'm enjoying and stuff like that, which is all good stuff. Uh, and I'm, you know, I, was, I don't know what it was, but 23 euros, something like that. Something like that. It's another thing for me to make this weekend. Ooh. Oh, you will see the Perspec, uh, the Perspex uh, mod, mod stance that he's just made. Oh, I'll have to show you after that really? on my phone. I've uh, actually I'll just wrapped one in carbon fibre tonight just to see. Well, it was actually where I was Clever super guy. gluing the, the bottom on to hold it together for the machines to fit into. 
when I sprayed the activator on the super glue, it just cracked the perspex where it had been heated up. So I thought, well, I'm not going to waste it because it, it was a good one. So I wrapped it in carbon fiber and it just looks top notch, really does. But I love making stuff. And that's going to be one of the things I make at the weekend, just out of a bit of aluminium. And uh, I'll just tap it and so I can screw the things directly See, in See, you've got chat and throw up now. You've, you've opened the floodgates, the one video, the one everything now. Actually, if you, if you are going to do that, can you, could you video it? I could video it, yes, but I'm not good with all of the... You don't have to be? Take the side of edit and stuff. And no, stuff no, like wait, that. I'll do the edit. All right. Well, but yes. I'm, I'm sure, you know, folks would, uh, would love to see how these things get made. But all stuff like that. There'll be lots of bleeps in it. Oh, that's uh, all right. Because I'm a typical builder, I like to use... Custard. Custard. Yes. With, uh, with, that's, that's the new curse word. Yes. You custard in custardy custard. Mm -hmm. But by all means, I like making stuff, so yes, I will film it. Oh, cool. That would be brilliant. I, I look forward to seeing that. I look forward to seeing it because, I, I, as you've probably gathered, there's, there's barrel loads of um, mods and stuff lying about the place. And quite honestly, sometimes, only sometimes, you knock the table and everything just goes pedoing. Or in Daz's case, Daz breeds mods that just want to commit suicide. They do, they want to All kill themselves. All of his stuff is suicidal. It is. Now what I want to know is what size hole is it going to take for your bobo to oh fit God, in its snuggly? Oh God, God knows. God only there's, knows. There's, well. a question, there's a question for chat. What size hole do you think it would need for Daz's bobo to fit in yes. snuggly? Be nice. <laughs> Be nice. But it's funny you should say that because I rang Darren the other day and says, look, I'm making these stands. I was really happy with myself. Uh, we'd been rained off, so I was lost some big money. I wasn't going to work, but mm. I persisted in making Perspex signs. Uh, stands. And I said, Darren, I says, how many holes do you want in it for like Alan's and yours? He went, well, we've got this one, we've got that one, but you'll not be able to put the bobo in one. I thought about that, and instead of putting a hole in, I put a groove in, and I also put a circle in the bottom, so you just slide it in and drop it down. There you are, Dad. You just slide your bobo in. And drop it, and drop it, drop it, it down. down. Bobo's got its own place. But not I have to bring hard. it next week. Well, so, I want to see this. Uh, I, want, I want to see where Daz puts his bobo. Yes. Chat, behave yourselves. Behave, <laughs> be, be nice. Behave yourselves. Be nice. That's <laughs> just wrong. Just wrong. Liana Lawless reckons. <laughs> F.O. Merrill says, wheelie bin sized to put your bobo in. <laughs> two metres by two metres, says Rack Finks. <laughs> That's a compliment. Um, <laughs> and a channel tunnel, channel tunnel boring machine for Daz's bobo. <laughs> 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 oh, dearie me. Does the bobo go in the same place as the hidden Evic? Yes. Yes. The new game, Hide the It's, it's otherwise called the floor most of the time. Yes. 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 Yeah, it's been Another most question of time about that floor. bobo you've got. Mm. Now, when you had it in mind the other day, you, you told yeah, me it we was talked about that. Cer ceramic, you said? Well, it, I, I, we believed it to be ceramic. Now, I would be quite confident to hit that with a hammer. Like, not that I yeah. would, but that isn't ceramic. <laughs> it's, it's just aluminium, basically, turned on a lathe, and it's being powder coated to make it look ceramic. That's what I would say. Are you up for that? No. Yeah, I see my being a yes. Uh huh. And I can assure you, it's ceramic. Oh, it is ceramic. Right. And then it's ceramic round the outside. There you go. So we've heard it from the cut. It's yes. proper ceramic. So we'll not hit it with a hammer. No, we no. won't. Well, it sounds as though you don't need to. Well, <laughs> it it that poor bobo gets more stick. Poor thing. Yes. Does people not like it? No, no, oh, it's just that it looks... It just looks different. Like a butt plug. <laughs> <laughs> not that I know what a butt plug look, looks like. Sorry, Kat. Kat's just had a PM, yes? Yes, from somebody who said across another forum uh, that I won't mention the name of, but it's called the <laughs> There we go. A tenner, as much as that? There we go. That We're at a loss already, quid. you see. Oh, dear you, me. You can't I'll get 15 quid for it if you put a tank on it. Can't no. do much better than that. Ladies and gentlemen, I think... 
indeed this <laughs> conversation is probably going to go on all night but we have got to go now it's been a great pleasure to have your company with us tonight Graham. thank you very much and, uh, and you will be back again i can yes, promise you yeah. that uh, it's been a great pleasure to have you as well Daz. not that i've had you yet but there's plenty of time <laughs> <laughs> And you in chat that want to have does just just form a queue. I'm sure he'll get around to you eventually. And um, thanks so much for tuning in. Thanks for joining us. Uh, don't forget to tune in on Saturday night for Andy Sutton show. It's going to be so exciting. I'm going to need a full box of tissues and two cloths. That's how exciting it's going to be. Get onto Twitter. Get ready to join in. Then Sunday night for Dave Kitson. Monday night. For the Tinny Tip crew, Wednesday night for Mark, and I'll be back next Wednesday night. No, it's Tuesday night for Mark with yes. VTC, and I'll be back next Wednesday night with uh, VT Talk, the proper titles and everything. Until we see you next time, ladies and gentlemen, this has been us lot enjoying ourselves. We'll see you next week. Take care. Bye bye. bye, -bye. bye, -bye.